I wrote a book. Let's read it. Unnatural Writing by Leighton Shelley. It opens with a cute little cover of a bird thing. Wow, that's so cute. Okay. Classroom, shop, house, etc. But only one of those. Only one purpose. Leave empty otherwise. Let's make lots of rooms. That way, we can do everything only in their dedicated space. Profit is not made through enabled spaces. It is made by restrictions which require specific spaces. Distinct, discreet. Time is neatly segmented and separated into seconds, minutes, hours, day, years, all the time we leave behind, discarded. Tomorrow is a new day. Yesterday is old, stale. Convenient, that art is human. A romantic, spiritual existence, or intellectual, or in any case, a thing more than practical. It takes a special type of person. No, paint is a painting. Noble, royal, natural talent. An essentialist elitism. Art is craft. Material. Practical. Simple. Improvised. In the end, there is but paper, ink, and the imprint of use. All our wonders of the world are rock. They are, most of them, ruins. Things abandoned but lasting. They will last, likely, centuries more. But when I think of awe, of things, Colossal, built to eventually be abandoned. I do not think of things far away. I think of the rock outside my front door that will outlive us all. Money is created, backed, and enforced by government. Money is governmental support and power. Government is responsible for how its support is distributed among its citizens. The government condones, encourages, and enables its power to be hoarded. The government withholds people's right to food, water, and shelter under the guise of money. Laissez-faire capitalism depends on the government enforcing authoritarian rule by money or just gilded authoritarianism. The government is responsible for what it calls natural and necessary progress. Modern manifest destiny. Stranger danger, exploitation imminent. Clean, industrial, exactly polished cutlery, exactly duplicated screws, cut wood. Smooth cement until it cracks in a week. Exactly managed grass, trees, bushes, beside the sidewalk. So much effort for a sleek illusion. I just want to eat. Letters 
reading, wires, radio, television, telephone, mobile, connected and invested, quiet includes the sound of traffic, noise made necessary. Under the writing prompt, nature writing, what's your favorite piece of nature writing? Or just something that comes to mind when you think of the words nature writing. This is what I wrote. How long had Wally been collecting alone? Did they know capitalism did that to the world? Did they even know why they were collecting? Did they know anything beside a lonely wasteland before Eva arrived? I'm kind of iffy on that one. Okay. Contract in conscript, responsible should be kept, vagrant asset, lost product, an errant issue, must induct back to order. On the Invention of Money, David Graver, from 2011. On the myth of barter, economists thus predicted that all 100% non-monetary societies, economies, would be barter economies. Empirical observation has revealed that the actual number of observable cases out of thousands studied is 0%. If any sociological prediction has ever been empirically refuted, this is it. Rather than an necessary evolution of barter to money, it is more likely that, as first proposed by Karl Marx, that money first emerged from barter in the process of international trade. The myth of barter perpetuates the essentialist assumption that capitalism is natural, necessary, and inevitable to functioning societies. It isn't. Not by barter, nor by money. Rather than barter, historically, economies have been gift economies. People exchange goods and services, which then establish them as trustworthy or not. All exchanges being of subjective personal value, quantification by money doesn't ever become necessary. Read Graeber's article. It's good. Surrounded by people, all is quiet. Temporary space, temporary isolation. The darker it gets, the brighter it burns, hotter it heats, eats. So much to do, undone, in the day, insatiable, insufferable, perpetually insistent of light, enabling. Logo, texture, color, pretty. I'm supposed to throw this away? How many do? Why can't it be made to keep? Thoughts I clean by pen and paper emerge 
from my being, first in formats and proper, forgotten, unseen, are those rugged things, invisibly wiped away. Is this image creation normative, natural, when it requires such overwhelming facilitation to artificially maintain? Regulated, trained, by discipline alone, one becomes sane. I wait to write, afraid I might miss a word. I hate the tight feeling I get, not wanting to be misheard. But to sit out of sight and live without light would leave me quite the turd. So still, I try it. If it sounds absurd, oh well. And to them, I'll just say, I didn't care anyway and I can just flip them the bird. With this ring, you enter a world you may not leave, except by admission of sin, of lies as a traitor, totally sacrificing of love, purely singular, If so ended prematurely, surely it was never truly real. Be satisfied in your fences and windowed view. This must be good enough. We are a democracy. We apologize formally for our possibly exploitative businesses. We have little to do with them. Your employers own you as they always have. You are free to rise your rank and comfort of living by your business's perm permission. By your boss's permission. Necessary separation, government economy for whose interests? Gilgamesh, do you participate in environmentally harmful behavior even though it grieves you? Another prompt for the class. I eat and drink things flown and shuttled miles. I use electricity generated by technology built by. I buy as I must from businesses, from artificial automatic entities which care only for getting money. Why is so much covered in plastic? Why are our products isolated into singular specific entities. Why can't I leave? Why can't I leave? My right hand I have scalded, roughed, splintered, scraped, battered, bruised, bloodied by slit edges. My right hand I have carved. My right hand I have scarred. My left, pristine, remains unmarred, smooth. A ceremony is shared space and time a guided, curated moment 
which connects to everyone who's participated, including yourself. A safe place to return to and gather your bearings, to ground, relax, reset, move on. A room left empty, dark and silent, it sits alone, made a lifeless cave. Blinding blue light binds us as witnesses to a watch yourself watching From self-sufficient to in-export dependent, our lives have advanced. I see static buzz by distant raindrops splashing on the street popping. What do you think of them, familiar strangers, often seen but far? I walk on soft grass, my little rebellion to its neighbor rock. A scene depicted Spoken by a silent voice, you are not alone. Play again, again. Easy now. Take a breath. Relax. Play again. Go on. Busy, busy. But I get to go to sleep now and do it again. Can't stop to smell the roses when you drive through city smog. Try and try again. Learn how to learn and enjoy trying more and more. I am as I can, quiet enough to listen, to patience, immersion. A plate uneaten, forgotten on the table, to be thrown away. I do not know what I want to do when I have the time to do it. I want to do it. What? Afraid of waste. Growth, growth, always growth. But where does the wealth go taken from out the soil? I grew up with a lush garden of fruit trees in the backyard. We had enough chickens to never run out of eggs. Our grass was delicately kept, as everything else, by the hard work of two people. 
in meinem Raum intern. The land now rots. I I can't. It's fucking dead. Just like everywhere else. Empty of fruit for no reason. But. But. I know the world is kind. Because everything we gave. The land gave back 100 times over. Why can't people see that? Take care of a tree and it cares for you. Take care of chickens, they care for you. Take care of people, they care for you. Care, it's worth I can't do better than that. The movie we watched of insects and whatnot was quick edited for attention and filled with sound effects. If an attempt to capture quiet belonging in busy nature it failed. If an attempt to be a good dramatic movie, it succeeded. My head has been stuffed with a fantasy so long, built up, that I think the pressure might kill me. It hurts to have in without a means to let it out, but by toothpaste squeezes. Honestly, I'm caring less and less if it's actually a good story. I just want to get it out. I can't take it anymore. I got to get rid of it. The difference between a sketch and a finished drawing is the satisfaction of the artist's expectations and or goals. I wonder what is obvious to others that isn't obvious to me and vice versa. There exists silent knowledge taken for granted. How do I tell when something is a waste of time? It stops being fun. How do I tell when something is worth my time, even though it isn't fun, now? Must investments always be made when you can't predict the return rate, if there even is one? I have no means of building a house. I must make the most of what has been built for me. Sleeping. If I put it off, I may be tired tomorrow. Might sleep in. Short on time, things may be rushed. I might have to work into the night. What's a radio's natural place? A living room? Full, empty, or quiet with the listener? K. 
can't find what you don't look for. Natural landscape seen on my every horizon except the ocean, as constant as the sun. Security dependent upon cyclical, consistent, unchanging commitment. Only ever enough energy to self-perpetuate the entrapment. How much have you given in? Good food. Some are shit. Some are fine. Some might be good. All have different amounts of food, in addition to their different prices. All have different types of the same cardboard trash, their package. With all these choices, we're sure you'll find what you're looking for. Eventually. Maybe. It doesn't matter to us anyway. I dream of gifts living on money. But I am lucky, as one can be in a society of capitalism. I am granted a gift of security. My dad makes enough money to pay for my school, rent, food, etc. I voice pain, but I am hardly the true sufferer. But where privilege has led many into isolated, detached bliss, I have happened, one of many, to stumble to an odd vantage point. Though I see the distance and detachment between myself and those worse off, I often wonder how loud can you or Hear the screaming? Or am I just picking up rogue channels? Lou the robot is anti mass needless death. Lou is pro Palestine. Lou would like to refer everyone to decolonizepalestine.com if you're not already educated on the topic. Death is not for Lou. Lou is glad you and everyone is on the same page. Latte art. I like coffee. I hand grind it, hand pour it, hand made. Well, the coffee picking and growing was done by someone else. Same as the sugar and cream. There is no screaming. Listen. Cities built quiet. Humming to itself. Sidewalks swept clean. By people I barely see. But in motion. I'm gone. I bite my pen cap, now jagged on my lips, rough, this wistful habit. We wonder when work will wake with welcoming witness, wished wealth, waiting. Work ends in wealth. Gifts do not end. I feel redundant, but it's a living. 
Linear thinking. Hmm. It's still in the way. We should build another dam. Lines of separation. Thinly maintaining. Barely containing. I'm thinking. Still thinking. The town was lit by lamppost shrooms. The dirt roads lined thickly with grass. The air was sweet, and everyone you meet would smile, happy to greet you as you pass. I see faces in objects. They watch blanketly in contemplation. Nothing to do but think and marvel, living with dreams. Noise is music. I have come close to missing some days recently. Also, been getting to bed late, neglecting my schedule, which is also frustrating. Anyway, the idea of missing a day after such a long streak is horrifying to me in a numbing, apathetic way. A fear I know I have, but simply can't confront or conceptualize, like a dream I know is waiting for me, but I haven't a clue what it'll be. Built to last longer than it will be used, echoing, dripping, water trickling down. We are entirely subsumed in modern newness. Our streets, our houses, our shops, even our mountains are warped to the productive, purposeful architecture of business and commerce. Our play is purchased, our relationships dependent on such monetary responsibilities. Our food and our shit is done with capitalist colonial cleanliness, recent and new. But this is a gilded facade, hiding from us the simple truth. The world is older than it's ever been. It's not fresher, just covered up. Satisfied, a job well done, topped with a dash of sugar. Sips of a cafe drip. Warm on the lip, soft on the tip of my tongue. Cream smooth, dense texture, my cup of leisure brew. When I can do nothing, I can do anything. Outside the walls, I can go anywhere. I'll get there someday. Never mind. Don't mind. Rest up. Take easy. Don't worry. It's okay. It's all right. Take a breath. Go on. Go on. Go on. Never you mind now. Feel your way down. I know it's a bit dark, 
but don't be discouraged. Easy steps. Take care of yourself. You can make it. You can make it. I say you, but I'm here too, right here. Never doubt that just because we can't see. Now come on, come on, slowly as you want, easy, easy. Can always take a break. Never mind how long it takes, I'll stay with you. Never mind, take easy, it's all right. Don't mind, never mind, never mind. Brilliant Catastrophe, Sky Mountain Eruption. Book One of Unnatural Writing. Resume this tape on the other side of the disc. Tape, disc, doesn't matter. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to book two of Unnatural Writing by Leighton Chilling. Hello, can I get the number two? It seems to me the best thing I see on the menu. But what say you? I wish I could say... But I don't know any way more than you do of the menu, too. Make haste, not enough time to waste. Alarm, set it to minimize the harm. Natural limitations require I get sleep, food, drink. Much of what I enjoy, what grants me fulfillment, is also what makes me mortal. I get so much pleasure from just bread and butter and cheese and coffee and water and warmth and a soft bed. Water sheds to a water bed. Sleep well, sleep deep, sleep sleepy head. Water sheds to a water bed. Sleep well, sleep deep, sleepy head. Sleep well, sleep deep, sleepy head. Morning and sleeping can wait a while. Candlestick, oh candle wick. Where would I be without your flicker flaring flame? I'm definitely a tree. Don't mind me. Don't worry about it. Completely normal. Nothing to see here. Ignore below. I'm just a silly little gloopal glue. Deeper creeper paws for prawns. An eager eater of evil things. When a hot sun is rare, except when it feels deadly. Heat is hardly ever enjoyable. I am lucky today, finding the heat and having the time to enjoy a blanket of soft summer.
a quiet early morning to punch a difficult ticket. No bus for me today. A long road to walk to the train. As buildings grew bigger, the insides felt broader, while outsides grew narrow and leaving got harder. They kept growing larger until the ceilings stretched over the sky that was smaller than its scrapers taller, taller. My head sometimes feels pressing, closing, pushing in one my sensing of the world shrinking small. I am so tiny while everything else keeps so busy, densely packing and constricting an always growing globe. The movement and change of this place so indifferent to me and my survival. At best, it's hard to comprehend. At worst, it's hard to even remember that I deserve to cross exist. To even remember how to see yourself as I in a reality so far away, crossed. Once worn clothing gone to the laundry bin, dirty, compulsive cleaning, cleaning constant, excessively fresh, obsessive fears settled in ritual. Patched and worn, a passed-me-down magic. No wear and tear tossings, only aging blessings. In care and repair, born attachment. Musty molds still scatter their spores. Moss mushes up rocky ruins. Insects crawl, those croaking critters, still sounding their midnight buzzings. The sun is gone, away its warmth. There is no light to eat, but the burning sparks of electric parts still whirring at the feet. I wrote this page from the bottom up. You would not know that if you were just reading, but I will be reading it from the bottom up too. You can read it either way though. Sitting and playing and thinking of writing, thinking I'm wasting time, knowing it's wasteful to be Finding it pointless to fester in, realizing this shame is self-inflicted. Spinning, self-destructive, spinning, self-sustaining, spinning cyclical habit like every other habit. In the head, perpetual rituals dancing or ringing, chance broken, habits practiced and by. Vacation, permission to break from this mission, occasion, calling, cash for withdrawing, tradition, submission, able to loosen, lesson, relax. My reach, 
range of excess, access, dependent on culture maintenance, a phone, bicycle, and infrastructure, intense order, delicate balances sustaining my life, one of many, work invisible until interrupted. Gray oceans, deserts, green islands, false oasis, illusory escapism. Beneath this sleet are sweeter treats than hardened feet and flattened meats, beaten dead 100 times over, a day. Before this paste and hastened taste for waste waits patience, Lasting, more than cracking castings, beaten dead, one hundred times over, a day. Wind waves ripple through the grass. Name it rustling, tossling, tussling. Gusts waft, open drafts folding whooshes. Whooshes. Long, along plants and pavement. Whooshes. Whooshes. Whistle out between the S and T. Play the tongue till the sound rings free. Feel the wind gliding through your lips, swiveling sounds sliding out in slips. Let it be that a my whistle dips, cause it's better than never sipping air to me. It's an earthquake, quick! Hide under the doorframe, in the closet, beneath the desk. The ground is falling out beneath our feet! Oh. It's just the laundry machine. Sometimes a lawnmower. Sometimes a car. Sometimes a firework. A gunshot afar. What I avoid to mention is writing about my attentions, the fights to write this page. Hours a day I have drifted away, years of YouTube history, my longest page. Breaks aren't a waste of time, you're allowed pleasure. Life not measured by production. Family, friends, don't let it poison you. More, food, money, laundry, homework, class, more writing, cars, machine lights, noises all around. Conjure what is absent, reason rationed, Solid present. Dense. Consistent. Logic, it's dependent. Our thinking, linear, repetitious. Circular. Scent by sensory. Centralized and homogenized, minds formatted and coded to systems. Language, bureaucracy confused with reality assumed to be shared. The texture of feeling. The world is felt in infinite hands. Gloved and prepped uniquely between. Scarred, burned, heavy, 
skinny, anxious, quick. They're all been done doing is all summed up by simplification to some singular being. Truly, really inconsistent, total whole, made of parts, swapped in and out by imperceivable whims. All take their self for granted, as if my mind is a simple object, material. Substance malleable, maybe, but certainly some isolated, independent form. Certainly not multiple. A collective system. Making the most out of time. By filling it whenever you can. With social media mania FOMO. It's Disneyland moving too fast. You gotta catch it or catch up. Quick, quick, you might miss it. Stop. Just stop. It's not going anywhere. You aren't missing anything. If you are always chasing immersion, escapism, you won't find it. Worse, you'll lose your immersion in your life trying to escape moderation is key tastes better fuller that way waste is preventable production is responsible packages can be paper wax or glass reused rather than plastic garbage bins and recycling alike are simply ways to perpetuate the lie that it's gone no need to worry about it when it's building up somewhere else Literally imagine if we scattered trash where we rolled our trash bins instead of trash trucks hauling it away. Our neighborhood, cities, states, the continent would be covered in the contamination its corporations created and consumers funded. Road, barred and sold to bitter cold, belching it told of his broken abode, beaten branches, birds were its load. Barkin and bold, now a bump stump of mold. It is what it is, what it is. Cube after cube, same as the next. Blocks built on blocks of bricks. House of houses. Write this text. Go away. Go away. Go away. Creatively inept. The architects have gone to the seats of the a lead cities all swept no business is run but by the feet of the elite 
I know not my food, not its maker or picker. I know not the mood, my clothing was tethered. Never have I looked in the eye of those at the top from which I buy. All that I live on, hidden from me. Little I see, but brittle fragments broken free before me. Enough to guess it's doom. Built for pride, it looms spewing out its fumes. But in this tower blooms many flowers hidden in its too many rooms. They are the cracks before the booms. The booms. Ambiguous romanticism of white suburbanite deliverance via some necessary and natural conclusion, many flowers. Many flowers is a fair reading of false hope. Opposed to my goal to expose, it suggests problems are supposed to solve themselves. This is antagonistic to real change. No, do not leave them as flowers. Do not imagine them as simple, inevitable weeds. Built in this tower bloom many flowers. No. Imagine them as guerrilla gardeners, diverse everywhere, flanking and organizing. That is our hope. I do not know how to spell gorilla. Cut into mountain, put rock over dirt, stifle its breath, etch into earth, carve it, fill it, flat, size fits all solution, cement. Hey there, spider friend, please don't jump on me. It would be the death of me, a bitter end. This page is intentionally left blank. It's been months, at least since I've noticed. I can't tell if there are sparks. I can't tell if they are bugs or sparks flecking off in bright flares of the street lamp. I see it out my window on the other side of the house across the street. Flicker, sometimes bright enough to see smoke. Thoughts may be habits, actions, active choice, or trained automatic. They may be accidents, falling clumsy trips, down or up hiccups, bumps and bruises. Sometimes animate, they move by themselves carried away, 
sometimes quiet, often noisy, bugs and bullrogs bustling in my brain. Malls and McDonald's, urban sprawl, gilded over dead land, places now product, the prices are coming for you, to buy you out of your life. No help, no notes. When would I need this info? I'm tested as if I would need to recall this knowledge in a vacuum, in the real world, in the real world, or couldn't learn outside and without final confirmation. Thoughts may be given, taken, gifts or debts or pains. They may be shared, seats, pulled along for the ride, for a ride. Sometimes thoughts are frustrating, fighting and finding yourself difficult. Let more thoughts come and move along. Get out of your head. Take a trip in someone else's. Maybe there you can look back at the place you came, see them from above, and thoughts figure out what's wrong. Maybe you can go back with a little piece of someone else with you, or Go somewhere new. Late in the night, lights look quiet. Sight feels thick. My hands move mushy. Bright licks, sticky tricks. Sleep bites, I might wait. Tight eyes, peeps slip. Delightful dips kick deep. Time kicks till day breaks. Light makes buzzes. Janet Justice is a criminal investigative android dispensing law like a bubblegum ball machine. She was sent here one zero 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 days ago she took pride in eliminating human error both ways janet justice didn't know where the crimes were here but she did know she was ready to shoot Let me, let me see. This land is my land. And, uh, uh, oh. From California to New York Island. No, no. What should I say? Land of the free? This is our land. We own it. We own it. We own freedom. It's ours. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're the best only ones with freedom. Ah, oh, I, I love freedom. You can't come in. You can't, you can't be here. It's our land. We own it. Our freedom. What are you even... Get out of here! Natural, they said. Inevitable. They said, alternatives, they hid. You'll get used to it, they insisted. I learned to shave and forgot my face until I saw it wave in the wind, pink and blue. 
where once I wept of unshared pain, now my razor-cut lips sting proud of these scrapes which we experience together. Streets are cars. No, <laughs> streets aren't cars. Streets are for cars. Shops are for customers. Cafes are for drinking. Restaurants for eating. Classrooms are for students working. Libraries where there are rules for quiet readers reading. Students working. When meeting people, building relationships, having real conversations, real human interaction, when pursuing human existence is the subversion of the norm, when the only place for being you is your own home, if that even... When the only place for being you is your own home, if that even, what, what are we doing? Exclusive places encourage, discourage, limit, isolate, involve. They write what we can do. They control our freedom. Control us. Do you have public freedom? More than parks. More than phones. Internet. More than... Blank. How can we make more, better, designed for public freedom? We're drawing it. This, this is a place at. Temporary, consumable, disposable spaces. Like takeout and tissues, landfill, a living. Legacy, this land passed down. This is how we live. This is what we value. This is how we die. What we leave behind. Do you collect pets like decorative objects? Ownership itself, personally fulfilling. Cage, backyard, display cases, cleaned, maintained, repaired, molded. We know there are. We won't know when we hear them screaming over fences so close. Shadows can't be natural. Humans make them. The People Sorter, a free app of and for any and every real relationship. Paid version makes the artificial maze slightly easier to navigate. Are they even real? Pokemon Go, get them! You're welcome for this latest attempt at subordination. Modern innovation attempted dependence. Four twenty. I ate pancakes, maple syrup.
Meditation, mediation of thought, thinking about thinking. Ritual thinking, fragile, flippant mind, full of focused growths, scattered, weeded and woven, thick, untended garden, overlooked, these wilds for the city. Home made broken, does it exist? Lost, stuck trouble, can't see with all the noise. A moment I forgot, I wasn't there. Childhood. When I am alone, I sometimes forget that people still exist. My foot dangles loose, coolly, out of the blanket. Bite me, bed monster. Do, do tunnel people feel above it all? Strange place to live, bought, sold. Have you seen the carousel? It's running round and round. Have you seen the carousel? It's running round and round. Have you seen the carousel? It's running round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round. Carousel cast work whirls round, servitude sold by a bell sound. Seats swap often, everyone sells the sun to each other all the hours running round, running round, running round. Canary cages. Left, trailing up, dropped. Did they get away? Morning, I wake, hearing. No birds, no wind. Other than my indoor weather. Open the window. Chirps. Smothered beneath rough road, rushing out. Close the window, sad, poor thing. Birds have to hear, world. Birds have to hear the world out there, unnatural. Must have been giants. Building so much, must have been busy, needing so much, trying to take the world possession. Sanity, bureaucracy, police, proper reality, game of titles, check me out. Do I write pretty enough? To be taken seriously? Spectacle artist confused mad fool. Sanity, bureaucracy, police proper, brutal, bru, 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 reality. Game of titles, check me out. Do I write pretty enough to be? Taken seriously? Spectacle. Artist. Confused. Mad fool. I'm finding myself way more uncomfortable in this rigid chair. What? This one is in right now. No, no, no. 
there's some, there's nothing wrong with the chair. It's you. Buy it. Work on yourself. Get with it or get lost, freak. I'm trying here, trying here. Hurt out. Hurt out. out. I'm trying here, trying here. Trying here, hurt out, out, hurt out, out. Breath of song. Bumpy, jagged, tasty, loose, time gifted. You're right, Jackie. We can't keep leading these kids straight into the hands of the candy companies. There is only one way to save them. We must drive them away. Disgust them entirely, utterly. We must eat their candy, Jackie. That was a reference to a game I was playing with a friend. It was fun. History. Please don't remember me. Let me be with obscurity. Fade me gone so I can go where none have seen, where none will know, but those now kin of the shadows who work within and build below history divine aligns a pretty picture never can define more than it can measure rulers all signs pointing figures for the front lines can't be further away. History, please, don't remember me. Let me be with obscurity. When we might win this fight, let me fly out of sight, single of many into the night, delight of company, twilight symphony. Possibility makes all poetry. Leave me be obscurity.
Took a break to eat lunch and stuff, so I'm back. Okay. So long, all gone. Semesters turn to summers. Teacher, a pleasure, an honor just to have you for one. I know I was trouble, but I'm hopeful you had fun with me. Maybe we can meet again, though I don't know where or when. I don't even think it's sinking in. Next week I'll wonder where the class has been. Crazy, what a living, having all these people that I'm missing. Year to year, how it's always been. What's it on your side again and again? Well, until then, until then, bye, have a good summer. Last song of the book. If I breathed chemical air, would I smell it there? If I did, would it be too much to care? If I ate toxic food, would I find it tasted good? Or maybe I just eat more than I should. If my hands touched Hazardous waste Would they tingle As they bubbled to paste Or would they glow With the light of the sun Bright as a rainbow Shining with fun Or would it blow To the boom of a gun Or would it Grow to the weight of a ton, or would it stow in quiet decay, awaiting another day while I never know. Until the doctors say It's taking me Away Away If I Breathed Chemical Air Would I Smell it there If I did Would it be Too much to bear
an everyday tragedy. Nothing to see. Normalcy to me. I can't quite tell. What are you supposed to be? Profit is not made through enabled spaces. It is made by restrictions which require specific spaces. Let's do this again. How should I read this? What what post should I make, huh? Maybe I should go or 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 clap oh but I'm not speaking in the mic either. Okay. I've never done this before.